Okay, so if you're a person that follows and or envies people like Amber Rose, Iggy Azalea, Emma Rajkowski, currently a lot of what they're pitching is that there is empowerment in selling your body. Like for the first time, you get to decide uh, how your body is uh, being displayed on the internet. You get to decide what you're willing to give for what price. This is their argument and the conversations that they host regarding OnlyFans, that actually you should be proud of this. And what I always implore people, a lot of the young women that are perhaps being influenced by these people, to take a look at is their personal lives. Examine the personal lives of Amber Rose, Iggy Azalea, and Rajkowski, and do not wrongly conflate happiness with money, because that's what they're doing. It's, yes, you can make money off of your body, and you can dictate how you make that money off of your own body if you go on to OnlyFans, but of course, there is going to be a knock-on effect in your personal life, and that is where you really lose, especially because as you age, there's going to be less interest in your body. So at that point, what you have actually built in your personal life, right, the things that are actually going to matter are whether or not you are in a happy relationship. And it's difficult to get into a happy relationship when the men that are pursuing you do not respect you. This is why Emily Rajkowski, despite being so hot, got cheated on. This is why Amber Rose is not with her baby daddy. Well, there is a porn star, a very successful porn star named, she goes by, her show name is Riley Reed. I think her actual real name is Riley something else, Riley Matthews. But she is making the rounds right now for an old video, just happens to have resurfaced, in which she admits that her life has been ruined by porn. Shocker. Take a listen. Lost my whole family and it sucks. So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. It makes dating really hard. It makes your family life really hard. It makes intimacy hard. You're putting yourself out there and the world is now judging you. You have to be okay with being shamed every day of your life. I don't even want to have children because I do porn because I'm worried of the way that people will treat my child. With me personally, my mom was supportive in the beginning. She kind of just let me do whatever, that I think it was a good thing. I had a lot of freedom. As time progressed and I became successful, I started to feel like my mom was using me so that she could live a more luxurious lifestyle. When I started to set like these boundaries, not giving her money or things like that, it made our relationship a bit more difficult and almost toxic. And so it sucks. I don't have a mom anymore. I don't talk to her. I miss having a mom. I feel like you can't rewind and you can't go back. I don't have that relationship with her anymore. I don't ever think I will. And that bums me out. Bums me out a lot. I talked to my dad and he struggles with my my job being in the industry. He's also religious. Recently, I wanted to go visit him and he said that I, I can't go visit because his wife, my stepmom, doesn't want me there. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore because my stepmom doesn't like that I do porn. But then he told me that when I was like, can we like go get coffee and like we could go like get breakfast? And he's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. And that just <laughs> hurt so bad. And it sucks. I lost my family. I don't talk to like my brothers or sisters. I think that they all kind of like try to take advantage of me and stuff, or they're just like, my dad don't want to be around me. <sighs> so do I feel compassion for her? Yes and no. I will always feel compassion for somebody who has lost their entire family uh, because you need family. And so despite the fact that she obviously has a lot of money coming in, uh, it is my understanding that she is one of, if not the biggest porn star that is out there. What does it mean? <laughs> who are you spending that money on and with? If you do not have family members, you have a bunch of people who sound like creatures. You said you lost relationship with your mother because you realized that she was only okay with you doing porn to the extent that it would provide her money. So your relationship with your mother became transactional just as your relationship with the people that follow and love you is completely transactional. You know, they love you to the, to the point that you can put 
sex out for them, right? And pornography is just such a deviant category, of course. It inspires deviancy. Uh, am I sad for you to have had that conversation with a family member that doesn't want to be seen out in public with you? That hurts. Hearing you say it hurts. But it's also understanding if your father has religious belief and has faith that, that he understands um, what evil you're putting into the world, right? We, we talk about pornography addiction, how it has destroyed men, how it is humiliating men, and it is humiliating women. The men that transact with you and watch pornography are humiliated. They're closing themselves in the room. Uh, they don't want people to know that they're watching it. And then, of course, you on the other end of that, you're being humiliated. They are, they are paying or not paying to watch you be humiliated. And so, yeah, uh, to that extent, I definitely feel bad. But I just want to make it clear that for some reason, people are trying to separate OnlyFans from what she is doing. It's the exact same thing, right? OnlyFans is the updated pornography. I'm sure she has an OnlyFans account. Um, and this is what it is. Like, women are transacting sex, and in place of it, they're having dysfunctional relationships because at the end of the day, yes, there are many men that will sleep with you. There are few men that will bring you home to their mothers. And there are even fewer men who have mothers that want you to be brought into their homes. And so it becomes difficult to have relationships. She commented that she didn't think that she wanted to have children. Well, an update, she actually did. She recently had a child. She's now a mother of one. And she's been talking about how she's getting so many nasty comments. And it breaks my heart for the innocent life that she's created. Obviously, no one should be sending hatred toward a child, but you know that that hatred is going to follow that child for the rest of her life. That is the truth, right? This child is going to suffer for the rest of her life because of the decisions of her parents. She, you're going to say, oh, men, when they get mad at her, or, or girls, when they get mad at her, are going to talk about what her mother does for a living. They're going to talk about why it is that she has money because people are mean and children are mean, and they try out being mean when they're in schools. And so, yeah, it's a horrible situation, decision that she made. And by the way, she's not cleaning up her life. She's not suddenly not being a porn star. She's just lamenting and being honest about the consequences. She decided to choose money over having a healthy and a happy life. And in reality, it's not an either or. She could have had both and chose a different career. If you like this video, you will like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking the link in the description.